We're flying back there to the DVD that you made there on Facebook last night, Danny, and one there this morning. You said a lot about foolish things in it. But there's a fella here who wants to correct you on those few words that you said was foolish. And maybe half of them here now. Well, Eddie, this is me, Patrick. I won't call you uncle because I was corrected last night from all my own people that you're not my uncle because you're an adopted child. And number two, Eddie, you're going to run calling yourself a king. And I'm not being a good with you. Every road that you're getting into lately is all you're shouting is the McFees, the McFees. You're saying, any I want to be, I want to be Joyce. But in the name of God, you must be, I want to be McVee. Because every word in your mouth, I'll get the McFees this, I'll get the McFees that. When you fought the other day with the Roonies, Annie, you had to sin for the McFees. And Annie, going back to money, you're talking about money. For God's sake, son, my father was a millionaire 40 years ago. I'm going back to me and my brothers. We have plenty of money, so I won't talk about millionaires and talking stupid old talk. But as all you're living in beyond in Stoke and Trent is a couple of old bad handy trailers. And a few houses above in the estate like St. Bell's Terrace and Art Lone. And look what the Mohans come over to do, and don't he any. For God's sake, the bar Mohans any broke down all your houses any and you couldn't get your own back. And little Anthony that was going to kill all the children, I heard him talk about children last night. Why doesn't he go and get the, de the bar Mohans that ran the trailers that are there and ran Barney's van and ran his mother like a rabbit around the car park after breaking up the trailer? Now, fair is fair, Annie. You're talking about getting your own back. Now, we go back to Tommy Purcellany. Tommy Purcellany ran you like a sheepdog through Northern Ireland. That's the same time he shot me, Uncle Tommy. Remember, he cut Tommy up in the filling station and he went down and shot you. Now you're all men talking about getting your own back. I didn't see any of you get your own back at Tommy Purcell. Because Tommy Purcell made a dasser out of the whole lot of you. You all have to admit the truth there. You never done a thing back to the man. Nothing. I'm going back to your Barney, Eddie. Go up the Neely tires, Eddie, where they cut him into pieces last year. Tell your Anthony and the boys that's on, on the YouTube tapes there to get their own back out of the tires and the Rileys above in Newcastle. And along with that, tell them get their own back with Jerry and Siamese young fellas. They went into the filling station and cut them up in bits inside it and they were able to do nothing about it. And you saying you're going down to Vanny Darty for a drink. Well, well and good. Vanny Darty must clash you an old dosser. That's all Vanny Darty is clashing you. Because there's a smell off you. They bought you a new old tracksuit this morning and tried to clean you up in the tape to make you look something. And you were talking about food and money, Vanny. Well, we'll go back about food and money. If you had money, Vanny, or a pride in you, when your mother died, Annie, in England, light of heaven to my granny, old Biddy, it was me and my brother Annie and me uncle Joe had to pay for her funeral and pay for her way home. And you says to Hussie, Annie, I don't have the way to bury her. For God's sake, Annie, if you were a businessman going around telling people you're a businessman or if you had anything and you're young for the saying they're going out to Belgium, they're going out a little bit of a power washer to do a power washing job. I'd earned more, Annie, in a good week than they'd earned in a whole year. There's a show me the boys. Going around talking, take enough for Big Patrick and Tommy. Any, you should be ashamed of yourself. It's only three weeks ago that you were below in the north, Annie, drinking with Hussie in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a fucking wedding, Annie. When you were saying you were going to drive a glass into Christy Stokes' face when you'd meet him again. And I says, Annie, I wouldn't need you to do that. For God's sake, Annie, you cop yourself on. That day is all you were doing was running after God's sister around the place, Annie, making a show of your wife, Maggie. A fine, respectable woman, to be fair about it. And you're going to make a laugh for your wife. And the boys didn't give you credit and praise. You were back below in the north with an old 97 LDV van with an old punch bag hanging out the back of it. And when the boys asked you to go up to the shower, you told the boys you had a shower there in the camp yourself and got a can of water and threw it over yourself. Sure, then I got an old puck coat and he wouldn't do that. Go and clean yourself up, Andy. And another thing, if you're talking about getting your own back, we'll go back a bit further. Do you remember any when old Kiwi's boys any had a row with you? When Kiwi's biddy took you out of the van herself and stabbed the two lungs out of you, Annie, and you could do nothing about it. She didn't come back around to me, Annie, for the, from that day to this, Annie, old Kiwi's boys cut you into pieces. And Red Barney, the light of heaven, to old Willie's Barney, Annie, I hope the man is in heaven, of course he will be. Sure, Annie, he cut the arm off you with a slash hook, Annie, you've done nothing about it. And your son's there telling you what you're going to do. I cut the two lungs out of you, Annie. Sure, the whole world knows that. And you don't fuck all about it. And I stayed with you, Annie, long enough ever since. So I can't see why Big Patrick and Tommy has to get you, Annie, to do your fighting for them. Because it, it, I'll tell you one thing. They're going for a bad man when they're going for you. Sure, look at it. If, Tom, if my Uncle Tommy was anybody, 
Why doesn't he go down to Tommy Person? Instead of giving little children scandal, little 17 year old young ones scandal, tell him to go down to Tommy Person and get his own back. And if he was any good, go up to his sister Lena, that he robbed the money out of the house at Apple Bay time. That she had saved up for the three little boys, Barney, Joe and Patrick. Sure, I don't know God, Tommy, you should be ashamed of yourself. But then I respect that out of you, Tommy McGinley, and let all the Connorses know that you robbed the Golden Rose out of knock, Tommy. How could you have respect for anybody? You dirty fucking tramp, you. They'll go up and rob the Pope's. The Pope left that back, Tommy. Do you understand that? The Pope left that. And you robbed it. And then you went up and robbed your sister's money above in the house and took off the Vapelby the next morning. That's what you done. You left the early hours of the morning to cover up because you couldn't look your sister lean in the face. Isn't that true? You fucking dirty tramp, you Tommy. And you, Patrick, to get your grandchild fucking scandal. I won't say no more, boys. I'll be making no more tapes. I know what you are. Do not call my child sick anymore. And you, big Patrick, you should have copped down it. For God's sake, to say that your grandchild is sick, to get any to say that. No, what any is a tramp. And you're nothing but another one. And Tommy, the golden rose robber, the robbed the rose of knock. The whole lot of you, Blue Peter, Tommy, and any. Go and fuck yourselves. Good luck now, and I'll be making the more tapes on all the travellers in Ireland. When you get Tommy and Patrick in a... Listen, when you get Tommy and Patrick in a fear, listen to me what I'm going to say. Do not look at them. Because one robbed a golden rose out of knock, and the other is giving his little granddaughter scandal. And then I'll make no more tapes. They can say what they like, but cop yourselves on with the scandal, guys. <laughs>